Warning, what you're about to hear is not real. No one got physically hurt or damaged, what you're about to hear. Players' discretion could be advised if you take it to be advised. Enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy the video. Ah, uh, Skylanders. My childhood. I grew up loving Skylanders so, so much. And it was my pride and joy. I really enjoyed playing the game. Game, and I loved all the characters. My favorite had to been... Boom. Boom Boom for sure. Yeah, I just like how he throws dynamite everywhere. But I've always wondered but I've always wanted there to be more Skylander games since you know, they've been they've been made one in like since twenty sixteen. Quite a few years ago I might add. But as soon but as soon as I don't know how long ago, I uh I found I found on I, I was going to a thrift store in my city, and I found this weird Skylander. It was not like any Skylander I saw. It looked like a tech element that was shaped like a question mark. Like, the statue looked like a question mark, and it looked pretty old and kind of rusty, and, you know, it's a bunch of dust over it. Covering all... Although I did, although I do really love Skylanders, I decided to buy it and take it home, which I really shouldn't have done. And I won. In a few days ago, in a few days pass, and I was bored, and I uh, wanted to try out Skylander finally. So that's what I did. I put, I set up, I set up my PlayStation, and I put. Actually, no. I, Actually no, I meant to say I set up the my Xbox and my and hooked up the computer and hooked up my my Skylanders portal to the to it and put in the Skylanders game, the latest one, and I put it on the portal. Which something weird happened. It said the portal said that the Skylanders is isn't working with this with this um station. And I was kinda of weirded out because this is the latest Pokemon game. This is the latest one of Skylanders. Skylanders Imaginators. Which was strange. So I tried it with, so I tried it with Giants. Nothing. And then I... But then, after... But then after, then after a couple of minutes, it actually did actually work for Giants. For some reason only worked. For the Giants game, I tried it with the, the first one in Trap Team and Swap Wars and uh, nothing. It only, and it only worked for Giants. I didn't think much of it, so I just put, so I just decided to put it on the portal. And, and once I, and once, and once I, uh, put it on the portal, the, the titles, it's some um, title thing that usually happens every time you put it on the portal. It just showed a question mark. Like, there was no, like, catchphrase or anything. It was just him. It was just a, it was just a question mark. And, and when I, and when I, um, and when I saw the Skylander, I was instantly, I was instantly really confused. It was Sniper. A Skylander that was supposed to be a Skylander, but ended up getting scrapped halfway through production. I was really strained. I was kind of creeped out, but I was also kind of, kind of happy. I really wanted Stri the Sky to be a Skylander for a while, and Sniper, and Sniper was actually one of my fa favorite Skylanders until I realized he was scrapped. I was actually so deep down, I guess I was kind of happy for it, that he, that he decided to become a Skylander. And, which is weird, because Skylander itself, because Skylander toy looks like a question mark. And I didn't think he was actually a tech element. I saw a video of him being a magic element. Well, that was a finding him in code in the game's files. But this was an actual Skylander, so I didn't think much of it, so I just played as him for a little bit, and that's when I realized I instantly wanted to play with him more. I was actually getting a bunch of cool kills and stuff, like, I was basting through levels, like, instantly. He was so strong, I almost com I completed the entire Skylander Giants game, and, again, but I, 
but I suddenly had the urge to want to put on the new one, the Imaginator's Portal, which was weird because I already tried it. Once I actually did, and it started working, it was weird because it was weird because it only worked for giants, but now it works for tr but now it works for Imaginators. I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was like a bugged Skylander, so I just kept on playing it. But then, after I got tired, I decided to um, go to bed and put the Skylander away with all my other ones. I went to bed and I had a weird dream. It was a dream when I was in like this fiery room with fire all around me. It was so freaky, and I only and it was so weird and when I woke up I was sweating like I was actually like I was really sweating I don't know I don't know what was it I mean I thought it was just coincidence that, that I picked that I got the Skylander the same day but that was not the case it was something way more worse after after a long night with no sleep, I decided to, I decided to calm myself down by playing my favorite game, Skylanders. I played with Sniper again, and that's when it happened. When I put the port, when I put it on the portal, when I put the question mark statue in the portal. It just showed fire. It was the same exact firewall I saw in my dream, and it showed, and it showed a skull, and it showed a skull on the screen saying. You will die. And it was strange. I instantly took the portal off and threw it on the floor. I was, I couldn't even want to touch it. Like, I was so scared. I was just on the couch, f shaking. And I was stuck on the floor for a while. But then, after I gathered the courage, I managed to pick it up. And I instantly ran in my car and drove over to the same the same place I got the Skylander from and I immediately put and I immediately asked questions about the Skylander. And then they and then the guy in the guy in, in the pawn shop owner said, We never owned we, we never I never saw the Skylander in my shop before. Like and like he was also confused. But I so I decided to so he decided to take it from me. So he decided to take it from me, and he will take it to Activision, and see, and see how he can, and he will port it to Activision, and see what's wrong with it. And I was sighed with joy because I never wanted to have that thing again. Every, everyone was hesitant, everyone was hesitant enough to throw away the co the games I tried it on, which was Giants and Imaginators. I had a lot of fun on those. I had a lot of worked up stuff on those, but I was too scared to even want to try using those games again. So I, I got the new so I bought some new ones online and that's and, I, and everything went normal. Well, I it was mostly normal because I had that really weird experience with Sniper Skylander. Which I guess which I guess taught me a lesson to not ever mess with Skylanders. That to never ever mess with this mess with stuff you can find in pawn shops. So did you guys enjoy that creepy pasta? If you did, comment down below if you want more creepy pastas. And like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. And as always, peace out YouTube Nation. Mm. Peace please like for more Skylanders.